Pokemon Company is taking a huge leap forward this year in immersive experiences. First with a never seen before adventure throughout the Asui region, crafting its fledgling Pokedex, all while a mysterious force engulfs the region. And secondly, a brand new adventure awaits in the first fully open world Pokemon games, spanning across a picturesque landscape of many diverse environments, filled with Pokemon of old and anew but we are still quite far from the start of this brand new adventure. So hopefully, to ease the wait, I am excited to present the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet Countdown. Well, well, well. That was not long of a wait. <laughs> so, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the countdown. This one is a very, very important and special countdown uh, especially to me to where this is the second generation countdown that I've done and I am super excited to get into it these ones feel a lot more bigger than say for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl or Legends Arceus or the two DLCs that I've done this one is huge and I'm super excited to be able to talk about all of the stuff that we have going on in Scarlet and Violet. Super excited. Uh, but first I want to get one thing out of the way. Uh, this is the question that I get asked the most, especially before we have a release date, is how do I know when the games will release? Well, I don't is the simple answer but I could definitely make some educated guesses so I've compiled the last six major releases in Pokemon and I want to show you kind of how I go about my process of trying to figure out what day they may release on um, a lot of people uh, especially when it comes to like Amazon or Target or Walmart uh, will list the game as releasing on December 31st. In fact, if you go onto Amazon right now, I'm sure you could go and find Scarlet and Violet's page uh, as released on December 31st, 2022. This is also how GCPM11, the original countdown person that I really did enjoy watching back in the day, uh, he also did that as well uh, until he had a release date, which then he changed it, of course. But for me, I, I think that the number is really quite an important. And I like to get as close as I possibly can without having to do December 31st. Because that does add like a solid 30 to 40 days to the countdown. And that's not really what I want to show. So, I've done the math. We've done, we've done all this right here. And I want to talk about the past six releases. Uh, number one being Orez. So, Orez was released in 2014 as you may know. And Oras was one of the first, um, some yeah, one of the first like global releases. X and Y was the first. Uh, and I didn't include X and Y on this list because I feel like it was like a more of a, uh, a fluke. Maybe they were trying to figure out how they wanted to do global releases. So they kind of did a little bit of a weird thing and it ended up releasing on October 12th. Uh, it's one of the earlier release dates we've had, but since then, we had a consistent November release. Uh, Oraz was released on November 21st. Uh, if we go to Sun and Moon, that was released on November 18th, 2016. Uh, which we're gonna come back to that one because that is a little bit of a tie-in to where I feel like Scarlet and Violet is gonna end up being. Uh, if we go to Sun, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, we have um, November 17th, 2017. Uh, Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu is November 16th, 2018. Sword and Shield is November 15th, 2019. And of course, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl is November 19th, 2021. Uh, again, I didn't include Legend Arceus, obviously, because it is a quite a different uh, release schedule than they would normally go about doing. They don't really do two major games in one year. Uh, so it's, it's a little bit of a, of a difference that we kind of have to not think about. <laughs> so what, what, am I, what do I mean? What do I mean by all of these release dates here? They always usually coincide on um, the 
second to last Friday of November. So if you look at 2014, the 21st is indeed on the second to last Friday. Um, same goes for the 26th, uh, 2016, which is the 18th, uh, is on the second to last Friday. It's 2017, 17th is on the second to last Friday. Uh, 2018, uh, actually 2018 is one of the more fluked ones. Uh, I think it's because it's just arranged a little differently. I think 2018 was a leap year, if I'm not wrong. Um, so 2018 was actually the 16th, which is the, uh, third Friday in November. But since he had five Fridays comparatively to the regular four Fridays, it was a little bit different. So you could say that's somewhat similar. 2019 is the only one that I, well, or I, well, actually it's one of the, it's very similar to the way it was before, uh, where again, there was five Fridays in November. Um, and so it was released on the 15th instead of the 22nd, which the 22nd would have been um, Black Friday. And so I've never seen a release on Black Friday necessarily, which is interesting. And again, if we look at um, look at Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, again, the second to last Friday. Um, so when that comes down to it, we can kind of make an inference guess on when Scarlet and Violet is going to come out. And that would be the 18th of November this year. Uh, like I said, back when I was talking about Sun and Moon, there's a little bit of a unique thing going on here where November 2022 and November 2016 are the same month. So we can expect there to be a very similar release schedule for Pokemon this year. There's only four Fridays. Uh, and so it would make sense that the 18th would be the day that Scarlet and Violet would be released on. Now, I am by no means saying this is the absolute release date. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. Uh, we, we don't know. We could, they could change up the pattern for all we know to December or to early October or whatever they want to do. But for the moment being, as a placeholder, I'm going to place November 18th as that release day. So if you are wondering why that's the case now you know and i will probably put a rambly description in the, the description uh so people know uh and then i'm going to try my best to explain it because i'm sure people will come into the countdown at certain points where it's not related to this episode um and i'll try my best to explain as much as i can in the comments if you do ask that question but anyway so let's talk about scarlet and violet for just a second here because i think i'm going to try to keep this episode a little short and uh and we're not going to talk about too much else other than the release date area um scarlet and violet man looks amazing um it is an open world game that is seamless apparently uh pokemon has tweeted out some things and put it on their website of course that every area is seamless without borders. So you can go into a town uh, without loading a cutscene. Like you do in Legend of Arceus, like you have to go back to uh, Jubilee Village in order to go to another area. So there's there's a couple cutscenes there where you expect that to be the case. Uh, luckily, like within like the areas within Legend of Arceus is seamless, but like when you gotta go back and forth between things, it's not. And apparently this game, is going to be seamless. Now, I, I don't think that, like, the flying, obviously that won't be seamless. Like, that'll have a cutscene to it. But, like, none the least, it's a seamless Pokemon game where we'll be able to go out and explore pretty much freely. Like, I don't know exactly to the extent of how that's going to be. Like, I don't think it's going to be, like, Breath of the Wild levels of, of, of freely exploring. Um, like, even Legend Arceus doesn't really get to that level at all. Um, because like when in Breath of the Wild, you can pretty much just go everywhere you want to. Uh, you can climb every mountain you can see, and you can't necessarily do that in Legend Arceus, especially at the first until you get to Sneasler. Um, so it's very interesting, and I think that we're gonna have to kind of wait and see how that's all gonna unravel as we go on. Uh, so I'm really excited to see that if the seamless nature of the game will also tie into just a full f exploration uh version of the game like if there's a a rock out in the middle of the ocean can i go get on that rock or does it have to have flat land for me to land 
or you know whatsoever can I climb that mountain over there or run down that canyon you know who knows so it's super interesting um, I'm super excited to be able to talk about Scarlet and Violet uh, I know this countdown was a little late than I would normally like to do the countdowns but I am super excited that we are finally back to talking about a new generation of Pokemon Sword and Shield was my first uh, countdown and I loved it you know I'm glad I did it and I'm super excited to be back with another generation so we can just get down and dirty and of course this countdown is going to be a lot more well put together I think uh, you know I'm gonna be able to do a lot better editing on it and work my tushy end off that was a weird thing to say don't don't quote me on that <laughs> but anyway Thank you guys for watching so very much. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next episode of The Countdown.